of adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West. for breakfast and way too early for lunch, Pancho. Hey, Cisco, how do you know what Pancho is thinking about all the time? Eating. Pancho, do you ever think of anything else but eating? Yeah, Pancho thinks of many things when he's hungry. Right now, I think all these trees, they look like cabbages, and the grass, they look like the green chilies, and these rocks, they look just like the biscuits you cook hard like rocks. Just for that, Pancho, I don't think I'll tell you that Will Harper's ranch is only a few miles from here. And his pantry is well stocked with tamales and tortillas and all those things, you know. Well, what are we waiting for? I mean, that's when, sir. your message. That's quite obvious, Turk. What's the matter, Hopper? Get out of the wrong side of bed? I didn't ask you to meet me here to discuss my disposition, Nebraska, but to tell you that as of this moment, our partnership is dissolved. You're quitting? You can't do that. I not only can, but I have. My niece arrived from St. Louis last night to make a home with me here. She's intelligent and curious. Consequently, to continue our activities would be entirely too risky. Therefore, what Nebraska and me, what do we do? I don't know. No care. But I'm flat busted. Me too. How about running just one more load across, boss? You can run as many as you like. But don't count on me to help you sell the stuff. I said I was through and I meant it. And, uh, one more thing. We three are the only ones who know the secret of my fireplace. And if that panel is moved just one fraction of an inch, I'll know that one of you moved it. And so help me, I'll track you both down and kill you. Now, hold on. You can't bust up the best silver smuggling deal ever set up on the border just like that. You heard what I said. That's final. But, boss, you can't treat us like this. Drop us like a hot potato, especially since we're broke. Well, it's no fault of mine if you squandered your share of the money. I'll get out. You're not talking to a couple of kids, Harper. I said get out! What's the idea of killing him? You know a better way of getting his bank roll? He didn't believe in banks. His money must be hidden around the ranch somewhere. Somebody's coming. through the left temple. Suicide? Murder. Murder? But it couldn't be. But it is. How can you be sure? Two reasons. First, only one bullet was fired from your uncle's gun, yet we heard two shots. Second, the boss was right-handed, but the bullet entered his left temple. Well, who? How? It beats me, unless the killer was a ghost. You'd better go into the town and get the sheriff, then. Okay, miss. This is a good spot to pick him off. We can't let him get to the sheriff.
down, Pancho. I never knew what hit him, Pancho. Did you see anybody? No, I don't see nobody, but uh, I find the clothes. Hmm? A pair of 44 caliber shells. Good work, Pancho. A 44 is not a common gun. It shouldn't be too difficult to find a man who fires these. <laughs> Pancho is a good detective, no? You look more like a potter pigeon. Hey, Pancho, I think we better get this man home. Home? You know him? No, Pancho. His horse has Will Harper's brand on it. Pancho, get his horse and we'll put a body in it. Mary Davis. Someone shot Uncle Will. We sent Ben to get the sheriff. I can't believe he's dead. He left less than an hour ago. It takes very little time for a man to die violently. Mm. Pancho says so too. Pancho? Yes, I am hit. Well, then you must be the Cisco kid. Uncle Will told me all about you, how you trap criminals. If I'm lucky. Please, Cisco, would you try and catch this killer? Pancho and I will try to do our best, miss. Hey, Pancho? If you say so, Cisco, it don't make no difference. I guess the puncher say hello to a bullet with his name on it. <laughs> Put our horses in the barn while I take care of the dead man, huh? this, a visitor? Uh, no, that's George Holden, my uh, foreman. Hello, Miss Mary. George, Ben's been murdered. Murdered? Cisco and his friend just brought back his body. Where'd you find him? When? About half an hour ago, a few miles from here. Where were you at that time? Well, if it's any of your business, which I don't think it is, I was fixing a busted fence up in the north pasture. And you didn't hear any shooting? No, I was too busy working to see or hear anything. Alone? Yes, so what? I don't know yet. Now listen, mister, if you think I drive girls, Ben, you're loco. What motive would I have? I don't know about that either. And you never will. George! Oh, good grief, Mary. I, I didn't mean I had a motive. What I meant is I... Well, I, I didn't kill Ben for any special reason, so, so Cisco couldn't possibly... Oh, now I don't know what I meant. I'm going back to the North Pasture and fix that fence. You better send one of the men after the sheriff, George. Poor George. He's so confused he can't think or talk straight. That's the impression he gave. You certainly don't suspect him. I suspect everyone, miss. Help! That's Pancho. Help! Cisco! 
yourself someone just been in this room Cisco maybe it was a ghost Pancho will you stop talking about ghosts there must be a human explanation for all this whoever bumped into this guitar did not leave through the front door or the windows there must be a secret way in and out of this room. Do you hear that? Come on, I got plans. Is the secret passage ten in this room? I think it is, Pancho, and we'll find it yet. I still don't see why anyone would want to kill Uncle Will. It was for his money, I think. He mistrusted banks. What cash he had, and it must have been considerable, he kept it around here somewhere. Many people knew it. I'd give what the killer did, too. He didn't say anything about it to me. He didn't have time. But he did say one strange thing. He said that if anything ever happened, I should contact Chief Yellowhair and that the chief would take care of everything. Chief Yellow here? That's a new one on me. Cisco, what do you think your uncle means? I haven't the faintest idea, Pancho. What are you here for? You crazy? Get down, give me a hand. Fasten this on the other side. When Cisco hits this rope, there's a good chance he'll break his neck. You 
shoot him, Cisco? No, Pancho. They worked that old rope trick on me. <laughs> you was lucky enough to break my neck. Uh, let's wait and catch him, huh? No use, Pancho. We'll never find him in this maze of rocks and boulders. It's not too bad. Let's get back to the house while those two are looking for us and find that bankroll. I got news for you. We don't have to find it. I know exactly where I can lay my hands on it. Yeah? Yeah. I heard the girl mention some magic words. Chief Yellow Hair. Chief Yellow Hair? You don't mean... Uh... Exactly. We're getting it tonight. And we don't have to risk our necks doing it. How are we going to keep everybody out of the living room? If anybody comes in the back, you know we're going to... Forget it. I got ideas about that, too. Now, listen. Good night while they're asleep. came to investigate. I saw a light flickering in here, so I, I headed this way. Something hit me and I splacked out. Don't you believe me? Frankly, no. I suppose you think I knocked myself out. Maybe. But why? Yeah. Why do you say you knocked out when you ain't? To cover up the fact that he was looking for your uncle's money while his confederate was staging that phony ghost trick to draw you and me in Pancho's room. You deliberately blocked my way this morning, so the man who tried to shoot me could make a safe getaway, didn't you? What are you talking about? What caliber is your gun? A 44. Why? Ben Larson was killed with a 44. That's the second time you've accused me of killing Ben, but I'm not taking any more of your dirt. George! Just please! This has gone far enough. Losing your temper won't find the real killer, George. And for you, Cisco, you better stop making your insinuations unless you can prove them. Very well, Mary, but I want to say one thing to you. Doesn't it look funny to you that George is always at the right place in the wrong time? Well, George? Oh, hang it, Mary. I was... I was worried about you with this killer running loose, and... Well, I was sort of standing guard at the bunkhouse. You do believe me, don't you, Mary? I want to, George. But I don't know what or who to believe. I really don't. But it's a waste of time, Mary. Bob and Toby rode line yesterday after we mended that north pasture fence. I don't care. I want you to check the fence today. Just go and Pancho will go with you. All right, you're the boss. And uh, saddle up the horse for me. Are you riding with us? No, I'm going into town to see uh, Uncle Flurry about probating his will. Saddle up, boys. What happened? I twisted my ankle. Sprained it, I guess. You and the boys will have to go without me. Hey, well, wait a minute. Let me tape it for you. 
I'm a pretty fair nurse, you know. So am I. I've had sprained ankles before. Cisco, what is it all about? Pancho don't got no fence, and what do you mean, checkings? Pancho, I have a little idea how to smoke out in the open the guilty parties. I talked to Mary about it, and she thinks it's a very good idea. See you later, Mary. Come on, Pancho, let's get our horses. We'll ride out and wait, Pancho, and then double back. Now we're going to give somebody a big surprise, eh, Cisco? Shh. Come on. Hello, house. We are back. going in through the window. Coast is clear, Nebraska. You're having me watch the house is going to pay off. I just saw them all right out, except the former. He's in the bunkhouse. Come on, we're going to go after that money. Go out and you get him. Hold it. Don't you make a move. Throw your gun across the room. Get him up, quick. Catch! What in blazes? I thought I said... We didn't leave at all. We was watching you. Secret way in and out of this room. What do you want to do with them now, Cisco? Take them to the bunkhouse, Pancho, and tie them up. All right, pull yourselves all together. Ah, under it. Yes. George, I apologize for suspecting you. It's all right, Cisco. I guess I did act a little stupid. Oh, the picture. I hope it isn't ruined. Uncle Will prized it so highly. Yes, I always had a soft spot for Chief Yellow Hair. Chief Yellow Hair? That's the name the Indians gave him. There you are, May. Here's a paper. It's got your name on it. It's a map. Why, Mary, you're a rich woman. It's tainted money, Cisco. And since I found out how Uncle Will got it, I couldn't touch a penny of it. But I think I'll keep the ranch. After what I've been through, I think I've earned it. It will make a nice home for you. Yeah, and a wonderful place to raise little kidlets, eh? She's going to marry up with a girl, huh? Pancho, what are you saying? Oh, I would just love to play Cupid. Oh, Pancho. Oh, <laughs> Goodbye, amigos. See you soon! Ha! <laughs> 